Hello. Evan, stop doing laps around the room. Please. And welcome to JRPG Historia Future Perfect, the show where I have an adjustable mic. So I can and do the points this. don't pass. It's pretty good stuff. Yeah. Time Captain Evan joined as always by Space Quartermaster Ryan. Hello, we shed Matthew again. We shed Matthew. I mean, I didn't ask him if he wanted to be here, but I assume he doesn't. Yeah, probably not. So, but hey, if we make it to 40... What were we doing? We were making the I... go under weapon craft. Oh, God. I just spill a bunch of water on myself. <laughs> this is great. I'm a fucking great. mess. You should just grab one of those giant swords off the wall that this thing is made out of. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, go into improved weapon. Maybe I could just appeal to this shopkeep that I'm the only fucking person who cares about killing monsters, so maybe just give me the weapons I want. Well, I think the thing is he... No, uh, the... Not that. Go back. And then it's the top one. The I get he doesn't have the materials. He could at least not charge me for them. That's true. Right, okay, we need to uh, go kill Gendromes. Alright, Gendromes. Let's do it. I'm invigorated. I have plans. We're not supposed to do that. That's right, because that's the Rathalos. Okay. How are you, Ryan? I'm good. There's no Gendrome. Okay, then do um go to the third level. Um, what's no jungle menaces? Uh, just do the. Hmm. Will there be gendromes to kill in one of these? Like I don't. I prey so. hunting or I don't think so. No. Oh, that's right. Those are the big ones. Yeah. Why don't we? We don't have to do the egg quest. Oh, that's right. Oh. Oh, thank God. Okay. Never mind then. No, I'm not doing the egg quest. <laughs> Oof. Uh, I'm uh, just trying to think. Because there's. The whole thing here is that we need to kill some bugs. Or, like, do the bug quest, but we don't have the bug quest either. So I would almost say just, like, do one of, like, the level 2 quests or something where you just kill three Velocipre. Is there anything I need to be getting? Um. Like, we I... could just always be stocking up on potions and stuff. So if you want to do Velocidrome instead, you can. This game is 60% me fighting the Velocidrome. <laughs> like, uh. It's just like, can you do the thing you need to do? If not, fight the Velocidrome. Monster Hunter. I have four Mega Potions. Alright. You know what? I bet I'll miss Monster Hunter once it's gone. I bet you won't. Yeah, no, that was a complete and total lie. I will not so, miss it even slightly. So Mad Max Fury Road is apparently pretty good. Man, I am... I'm kind of jazzed to see this movie now, because I, no, I have no attachment to Mad Max. Like, I've never seen any of those movies, and I've never really cared. No, no not worth seeing. But, uh, but man, people dig this new one. Yeah. Like, in a way that is encouraging to me. And man, d d men's right activists are not happy with this movie, apparently. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, too. Yeah. You know, you can sort of have it all. Uh, you can go to eight. Go to eight. Get the uh, that's right. mushrooms. Yeah, I'm going uh, I'm going to see that on opening night with folks. Oh, yeah? And I am... It was kind of weirdly psyched <laughs> about it. I hope I like it, because like, I really do like good action movies. I just yeah. don't. There's. I just don't see very many of them. Um. And I. I feel like the sort of critical acclaim that that Mad Max movie is getting is, like, definitely a cut above some of the other critically acclaimed action franchises that I don't really care about. Just discard. Like, uh, like Furious Seven. Like people generally liked Furious Seven. Okay, keep that one. Yeah, I know. Uh. Get rid of the rations or something. But, um... But, as you know, 
I found Furious 7 quite bad. Yeah. It'd be quite a bad movie. Because you're wrong. Yes. <laughs> that it, because I, I demand basic things out of my movies like plot and character development to, and progression. Go to nine. Um, to sort of... as Even if it's not the focus of the movie, I just need a little something. I just need a little something to justify the rest of it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Which Furious 7 refused to give me time and time again. Turn around. Nope. What? It's up here? Yeah. I thought it was at the other end. Nope. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, Most of the time recently you've been coming in from the opposite end. So that's that's probably why. Um, yeah, but Mad Max I'm, I'm psyched for. It sounds... Yeah, I should, I should watch that second one again. Because I, I do actually think that one is pretty all right. The I know that one. that's the one that people like, like, like. Yeah. Uh, first aid meds, or something you can't sell later. Yeah. Because I do, because I feel like, obviously, as somebody with my uh, proclivity for cur- 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 curmudgeonly... I can't finish that sentence, but if it's somebody like me who who don't like a lot of movies, mm-hmm. I feel like uh, there's a certain reputation that a person might have as a result of that, that I'm like, you know, that I just don't like dumb action movies or whatever, which couldn't be farther from the truth. Because what are some dumb action movies you like, Evan? Uh, like Die Hard's a really good movie. Like, yeah, Die so Hard's a really Christmas good movie. action movie. Oh, God, it's not a Christmas movie. God damn it. You're trying to push me away from everything I love. <laughs> not everything I love, but everything I have common. Like, in common with, with others loving. I can't talk today. No, what what's going on? <laughs> I So, a little bit of clarifying information. I'm, I'm kind of... I'm sort of always on right now. Like... It's behind you somewhere, I think. Oh, that's not it. That's not it, is it? No, that's it. I just, um... I just... Because I'm getting up earlier than I, you know... Here's the thing. Obviously, there was a time in my life when I was a normal person, um, and I would get up at, like, 7 each morning. I would get up at 7, I had to go to school, I had to be there at 8.30, as I recall, maybe 8. Um, and then those days of my life ended in, let's say, 2010, <laughs> <laughs> um, when I became an adult <laughs> mm-hmm. in 2011, uh, at my fancy fake online high school, where I did not have to get up that early. Mm-hmm. And additionally, did not have to um, do schoolwork the way I did it. I would sign into classes. I, I worked it out. I would sign into classes, then I would just tab away from the class and do something else. Uh-huh. It Almost every class. Um, and I figured out, <laughs> the thing I figured out is there was a participation uh, grade. And I noticed that the participation grade in my grade book uh, always said, like, blank out of two. So two out of two, or or one out of two, or zero out of two, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, huh, that's weird. And I realized what it was is that you get a full participation grade if you enter two things into the text chat. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would just do that. I would tab away, and then every... At the end of every class, I would say, uh, thanks for the class, goodbye, <laughs> in two <laughs> separate texts. Uh, and then I would get full participation grades. Um, I did not read a single thing in my English class, past that with, a, I think, a B. Jeez. I did not do any geometry homework and got a B. <laughs> I did fail my statistics class. Yeah. But I don't think I could have passed my st- my statistics class even if I tried to. <laughs> like, I tried near the end, and I was just like, statistics is terrible. This is... I can't deal with this. 
And then after that, I worked it out so I I had to get up at like 11.30 each day to go to fucking film class. And so for the entirety of my high school career, I didn't have to get up this early. And now I'm in college, and I do. Almost every day have to get up at 7.30. <laughs> and so, you know, it's a, it's a constant struggle. I should put some stuff in my box. Got yeah. a lot of stuff. Um, just put everything for now. Okay. Yeah, everything you're not gonna sell. Oh no, not take item out. Uh, store the claws and fangs too. Yeah. Yeah, just store everything there. Just, yeah, money's not an issue yet. Yeah. And if it becomes an issue, we could just sell. From the box, apparently. Remember how you could do that? Oh man, right. <laughs> Um, check if the gender room. There we go. Yep. And then remember just to uh, carve the gender room immediately when you kill it. Right. Because you should be able to get two carves. So yeah, if I'm ever... If over the next year I ever seem like I'm kind of out of it, or like mm -hmm. my mental faculties stop working, or I um, can't speak, just know that it's because I'm... I'm slammed. <laughs> I, got, I got a lot of plates spinning. Come on, slay. <laughs> yes, I listen to that every morning I wake up. <laughs> I listen to that on repeat as I walk to the bus stop. <laughs> okay, gotta find the gendrome. I know how to kill the gendrome. How are how how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I um have signed up for a bunch of uh, summer courses. Mm. So, what kinds? Yeah. Uh, it's an instructional technology course for, um, because, because I'm an education major. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, educating people about Monster Hunter. Yes, that, as I do. <laughs> uh, uh, computer, computer applications for business class, which is just simple. Mm -hmm. Like, and, uh, what's the other one? Oh, world history. Okay. Right. So, and those are all online, because I, I find it easier to log on to my computer than to get myself out of the house every day. Yeah. So. Uh, Man, I remember my world history class. Yeah. I, it was okay. <laughs> I didn't really... I just... I, whenever I... Whenever I think about school work that, like, I didn't want to do, it's always just, like... Well, I'm in it, I'm in it. And then a year removed, I think back on it, and I just start having, like, retroactive panic attacks. Mm -hmm. Like, like while I was in the latter part of my high school career, I'd think about how at that online high school, I just didn't give a shit and didn't do anything and somehow skated by, and I'm like, how the fuck could I have done that? I did not do my term paper my senior year of high school, which was a large portion of my grade, and I still uh, got a... B minus overall in the Jesus. class. It's just shit like that. Like, and then with the, and then thinking back on like my world history class, it just got to a point where it's like the thing I had to do every week was go. It, it was the way they wanted me to do it was I would read a chapter of this of this textbook. It usually seems to hang around at four. Okay, I would read a chapter of this textbook, and then I would answer all of these prompts like these questions that they want me to answer mm -hmm. but that's not what i did i'd always just start with the questions and then based on the question sort of apply my guesswork to where they directly answer that question in the textbook and flip <laughs> through it that way so i wasn't reading the textbook i was reading the paragraphs of the textbook i identified as being mission critical <laughs> for <laughs> And I just did that for two goddamned years. Yeah. And I got an A. That is very similar to, as to how I went through high school. I, I don't get it. They should probably just stop making you do stuff you don't want to do in high school. Or, you know, college. Or college. Well, you know, I'm I'm not in that position anymore. Yeah, so. you're, you're in a fancy pants college. I'm in though, fancy, so. uh, 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 not real college. Yeah, Juilliard. Or they don't give you a degree. Canada Division of Juilliard. Canada Division. Uh, yeah. 
I had to pitch my game to in my pitch <laughs> class the other day. Why? Just because uh, you didn't have anything else to pitch? No, because they... Um, man, I love this part of Monster Hunter. Just wanted to solidify that before I talk about this. Uh, it's because I... We were... The first pitch we had to do was just, like, pitching ourselves and our resume. Mm -hmm. So we'd, like, say who we are, where we're from, and what we've done. Mm -hmm. And then... Of course, as a result of it being the aberrant thing on my resume, my teacher was like, oh, talk about your game a little. And then I had to, for the first time, for the first time ever, pitch my game out loud. <laughs> and did it, did it sound weird coming out of your mouth? Sort of. And for the first time ever, uh, pitch it to people I was looking at. Um, and it was... <laughs> That was a weird experience. Uh, I'll back up a little bit so you don't kill it out of the zone. All oh, right. Um, it's a weird did, experience that I was not wholly prepared for. Let's say. Did people respond well to it? Uh, yeah, they did. But like, have sales skyrocketed I since your pitch? They have skyrocketed. I just, I'm very nervous. My entire school career at this school so far has been me being nervous about. Uh, being an asshole. Mm -hmm. I think I've talked about this yeah. on previous episodes. Yeah. But just like I don't want I don't want to be an asshole and I also don't I don't want to be somebody with a reputation mm -hmm. like positive or negative. I don't really want to be like oh yeah, Evan, he's blank. You just want to go through school being the most unnotable person in the world. Well, no, not necessarily. I just you know, I, obviously, I'd be happy to to for hey, people to be to, back to be interested in what I'm doing, but like I don't want it to define me, I guess. Okay. And so it's right behind you. There you are. Look this way, dummy. Oh, um, <laughs> that'd be great if that killed it. <laughs> uh, so like, you know, I I pitched my game, then I went off to go eat. Um, lunch and I came back and I sat around and suddenly like people who are in my my class my big class but weren't in that pitch class were like saying so I hear you have a video game on Steam I was like uh <laughs> I, yeah uh -huh. yeah it's also just a lot of pressure because it's like what if these people actually follow through and play this game and then they don't like it like then I feel bad because well, then, there's just some crazy, like, misogynist gamer gators in your I can't, class. Well, that's not so much my concern. My class they, is actually, I want to say, majority female. Oh, okay. But uh, I, <laughs> I, I just, I just don't. Because I feel bad when I feel like I am putting people into situations that. I would be uncomfortable with if somebody else put me into the same ones. Okay. If that makes sense. So no, like, I know what you mean. D like, yeah. d sort of in an empathetic response. And so, yeah. you know, I'm in this position where I have to pitch my game. And at that point, I'm like, okay, well, now all of these people, whether or not they actually want to play my game, have to say, like, oh, that sounds cool. I'll check it out. And then they might not. Some of them might not. But then the ones of them that actually are interested will play it. And then if they don't like it, they're put in the worst position in the world. Because either they can say, they could lie to me. <laughs> they could be like, oh, I played your game, it was cool. Or they could just never bring it up again, and it's just this thing that's going to hang over them whenever they talk to me. <laughs> I'm a very skittish person. I have a lot, <laughs> have a lot of concerns. So... Yeah, that's where. <laughs> that's where you're at right now. That's where I'm at right now. I'm also at not fighting this gendrome well enough. Yeah. No, you're doing pretty well. I have one first aid med. He just has a larger health bank than. What uh, is he velocity. healing while he's running? No, he. That means he's not in an aggressive state. Oh. Yeah, and then I finished pitching, and th my teacher said. 
Yeah, that was good. You know, you're a, it's, 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 only the thing I'd say is you're a little low key for somebody with that resume. He's behind you. And I was like, well, how am I supposed to take that? <laughs> He's behind me. Yeah, he was behind you. God. No. No. Because bosses don't like get moved around in spawns when you go between zones. Right. So. Like, that's when, before, when you were in 9 and you went to 8 to heal and then came back out, he was still close to 8 because yeah. he was just kind of, like, hanging out there for a little bit. Also, if you need to heal, just go sleep at camp at this point. Right. That's enough. Weapon power. Monster Hunter has basically just become the me the Evan Tugnati school anxiety hour. <laughs> so, I apologize to those who are listening, but I don't really have anything else to talk about, because I don't have time to do anything else. Oh, come on. No, don't run. <laughs> Not again. Might as well sharpen. God damn it. Sharpen. Ugh, I guess. If you insist. <laughs> so Uncle Grandpa seems awful. Yeah, this is, this is still bothering me. Why is it bothering you? Because it's just... That a show seems that, awful. Because of it being crossed over with a show that I genuinely, like, love. Well, yeah, I mean, I can understand why that would... But it's so easy to ignore if you're not... I mean, they, they stayed up front that's not canon. Yeah, but that was just a dumb, not funny joke. Right. Uh, what I'm saying is that. <laughs> what I'm saying is that when I saw that episode, I was just like, "Yeah, okay," and I moved on. <laughs> I didn't pay it much more mind. It seems like you're hung up about it in a way that it's, I. It's. I guess it's because it was like, I was like, "Okay, Steven Universe isn't going to be on for," or like it wasn't on last week. There wasn't a new episode. I need mm -hmm. some Steven Universe to watch. I haven't watched that Uncle Grandpa crossover yet. Okay. I've been saving it for rainy day, and that has been like in the past two weeks that my one subjection to Steven Universe and it was not good. Well, I mean And now I think I think it's maybe presence. it's it's maybe unwise it was unwise of you to do that, first of all. To be like, oh man, I need my Steven Universe fix. I'll watch the Uncle Grandpa crossover episode. It was the one episode I haven't seen yet. <laughs> It would be better for you to... Carf. Yeah, I know. It would... You're going to have to kill those guys. It would be better for you to just rewatch Steven Universe than do that. I was thinking about rewatching Adventure Time, but we're doing the super cut, so yeah. hey. By the way, did you download all the episodes of that so no. I can... No, I'll okay. do that. Could you please do that? Because yeah. every time I log on to my computer, it's like, we can't sync your Dropbox because you don't have enough room on your hard drive. I'll, I'll have that done by uh, Sunday. Also, I just got enough stun sacks, I think, to make that thing. I thought you had one, actually, but I don't know. Do I need four? Four, yeah. Ugh. Well, hopefully this next one will give me a stun sack. And then what else do I need? Monster fluid? Monster fluid, which you get from bugs. Okay, so I gotta kill bugs. Yep. The bunny? Yes. Okay. That really took me a second to get what you were going for there. Bugs the bunny. These yeah. bugs? Yeah, but um, you need to kill them in like with poison, so that here, watch when you attack them, like hit them again. I mean, I know they break apart. When yeah. I... So if you poison them, how do I they... poison them? You have to have a poisoning weapon. But I don't. Or we can just get the reward from the bug quest. What's the bug quest? The one where you kill like 20 of them in the jungle. Oh, and that just gives me the thing I need? That should give you monster fluid, yeah. Then that's fine. I'll just do that. Come here, Gendrome. Gendromeda strain. D -d Boo. Gen... Thunder, Thunder Gendrome. Thunder Gendrome. Oh, I see what you're going for there. 
Boo. Two Gendrom enter, one Hunter leaves. Yes. Um, I'm just going to try to think of Gendrome puns. What else is like drum? Video Gendrome is a very good movie. <laughs> Um. Oh, the uh, the the beat the champ vinyl I bought and got signed by John Darnell uh -huh. uh, arrived in the mail today. So my friend had to send it to me. Oh, uh, I was wondering how that would happen. How yeah. that would work. Nice. I think I'm gonna bring it with me because I'm at the end of this month. I'm going to <laughs> Seattle and Portland to see him twice more. You're gonna get him to sign it two more times. I was thinking it might be funny if I had the one vinyl and because he wrote the idea came when I saw that he wrote uh, Chicago 2015 on it and I was <laughs> like well if he does that then wouldn't it be cool to like show that I went to three shows because it's not like I'm going to sell it that's not yeah. the point that's not what I'm in it for if I wanted the to make question a profit is, the question is would that make you an asshole though no why would that make me an asshole I don't know, you're like, hey, I went to your show three times this tour. I have proof. You know, I think I think his uh his instinct to think of me as an asshole would probably be outweighed by the fact that I gave him all that money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, tickets weren't that expensive. Yeah, that's true. I also had to buy them from a scalper. <laughs> so Did you really? Yes. Cause like the day of? No, I mean the the Chicago show I bought before it sold out, but the Seattle show was sold out, so... Ah. Um, I don't know why I what did that. What are you that. doing? I don't know. <laughs> Getting some raw meat? I think I'm just sort of fed up with the part of this game where it's this. Uh, go to go to Zone 1. Or no, I'm sorry, not Zone 1. Go to the camp. You just want me to heal? No. I mean, if you want to do that, you can, too. I mean, I will if I'm going to the camp. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm excited, though. I'm excited to see him again. Look Twice up into the again. sky. Do you see any hot air balloon or anything? What? If you ever see a hot air balloon in the sky, and if you uh, go into your pause menu and wave to it, it'll uh, ping a monster on your map. What the fuck does that... You're just making shit up now, because you're bored. Oh, no, Evan, a monster... Didn't you know if you go to the... If you go to the top of the hill and you crouch for 30 seconds, you unlock the secret passageway. It gets you the skeleton key that lets you fight the lich. Okay. Yeah. So that's the thing. <laughs> you went... Whenever you go silent, I assume it's because you have to mute your microphone for some that reason? That is true. That okay. is very true. You realize that if you're ever going to play a game on this show, you can't do that. No, I know. <laughs> okay. I would even say that for this show, doing Stop that doing unexpectedly is, is something to avoid. I try to. It's... But I also don't want to, like, say, I'm going to mute my mic before I go. Well, yeah, I know. What I'm saying is just arrange don't. things so that you don't have to mute your mic. <laughs> Paintball. All right. Okay. So yeah, that's the uh, effect that will happen to monsters once we get this uh, monster fluid in the stun sack. That sounds cool. Also, it's just a better weapon, right? Oh, uh, it's slightly better, I'm pretty sure. Pretty it's slightly better in sure. one regard, at least. Let me double check. In one regard. It might, like, not be as sharp, but it does more damage or vice versa. Mm -hmm. I should just use that bone blade. Yeah. That laughable bone blade. Some people really like the greatsword, man. Yeah, some people like playing this fucking game. It's true. 
there are no depths to uh, human depravity. <laughs> Get up. Let's go kill the gem drone. I'm gonna hope that this is the last time I have to kill the gem drone. It guess. is stronger, but has less, uh, less sharpness. Okay. But only so... a little bit less. Right, but that doesn't even really matter because the I'm still bounce. Am I gonna bounce off more parts of it? No, no, it's it's just the like level of sharpness, the yellow glowing, like your sharpest state will just not last as long. Oh. Okay. But as it gets weak, as it gets less sharp, will I bounce off more parts of it? The I mean, when it says like weapon power has decreased. Then yes. When, then it you'll bounce off more. Okay. But that's why we have whetstones. I just wanted to know whether or not it was like a... If you're at this sharpness, you can hit it. If you're at any lower, you can't. Just like a binary thing, or if it actually went down. No, it's a binary. Proportional to... Okay, bro, don't make me do this to you. Don't make me... What day is The Witcher 3 coming out? Uh, next Tuesday, the 19th. So so the 19th, so that week is going to be the week where I begrudgingly play The Witcher 3, then. I don't even know if I'm going to get it now. Yeah. Why? Because it, everything I've heard makes it sound like a game I just wouldn't enjoy. Like what? Like the... Uh, like how all those people gave it 10s? I don't know that I'd really like a 10. I, I have not really ever enjoyed the pacing of um, the combat in The Witcher games. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, and it sounds like that's still a thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that would, that would be a reason that I wouldn't want to get it if, if the majority of my interaction with that game outside of the lore, which I don't care about at all, mm -hmm. is its combat. Yeah, the that. combat in those games is just like, here's kind of bad third-person action combat. Also, what if you had to make a bunch of fucking potions? Yeah. Yeah. Because so, crafting uh, is everybody's favorite part of video games. So I don't know if you're going to get it. Maybe I'll wait a week and see how you feel on it. I have I have a prediction. <laughs> yeah. Something else is coming out next week, I'm pretty sure, also. But I can't remember what. The Witcher 4. It's a bold release strategy. <laughs> um, what is it? I was moderately surprised to see that GameSpot gave The Witcher 3 a 10. Did they really? Because The Witcher, because GameSpot has given out like 9 10s, mm -hmm. I think. Maybe they're getting a little bit looser with it, because they gave, uh... They gave a 10 last year, what was it? Fuck. Bayonetta 2. Well, that game deserves a 10, so... <laughs> it might be a bit much. I really... I... I like Bayonetta 2 a lot. Yeah, I like Bayonetta 2 a lot, too. I mean, I think I like it more than you do, though. If so. I... It, that might be true, but, like... There, there's a difference between a 10 on the GameSpot scale and a 5 on our scale. That's true. Like a, a pronounced difference. Yeah. One's a 5-point scale, the other's a 20-point scale. Yeah. Wait, is it... Do they only do half points, or yes. do they do quarter points? They don't do quarter points. But still, when, like... You know, when you're entering a game into a group that includes, like, Ocarina of Time and... Uh, I forget what the other ones are. Portal. No. You wouldn't put Portal there? Well, I'm t I forget what theirs are. Obviously, I'd give Portal a 10. Uh, I will look them up. I just I can't. Metal Gear Solid 4 is one of them. And 
Bayonetta 2, Grand Theft Auto 4, Soul Calibur for the Dreamcast, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, Chrono Cross, Metal Gear Solid 4, <laughs> Legend Cross. of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's a weird collection of games. Yeah. Um, why, is, why is it Chrono Cross and not Chrono Trigger? Don't people think Chrono Trigger's better? Uh, yeah, but GameSpot wasn't reviewing games when Chrono Trigger came out. Fair enough. What? I thought there was something coming out the same week as Witcher, but I guess I'm crazy. Yeah, you probably are. Hatsune Miku Pro Project Mirai DX comes out the 26th. On what? The 3DS. Ah, damn it. I'm not going to play a fucking 3DS game. I'm not a kid. <laughs> I just want my Hatsune Miku. Final Fantasy X and X2 uh, HD came out on... PS4. Oh yeah. Uh, this past week, and I saw it on the store, and I was like, "Man, I could really go for like a solid turn-based RPG well, right now." Well, ten seasons from now, you're gonna have to watch me play it. So I don't know. that was part of what stopped me. From or actually, it. that's not true. You could play ten, since I've beaten ten. I've also beaten ten. So I oh, know. okay. <laughs> well, it is the only, or it is one of the only two Final Fantasy games I've beaten. Write that in what? Crisis Core? Crisis Core. That's... <laughs> it's a good game. Uh, sure. Sure. I believe you. That's what this voice indicates. <laughs> I really thought something else came out when Witcher 3 did, but... Mm. Splatoon comes out this month? Yeah. Jeez. You can tell because every game journalist on Twitter is talking about it like it's already out. Really? Which is how you know that a Nintendo game is coming out in a month, because they always lift their embargoes like a month ahead of time. <laughs> huh. People seem to like Splatoon, but, I mean, I don't... I don't know how I could possibly convince myself to care about, like, a competitive third-person shooter on Wii U. Yeah. Like, I'm, it's no insult to Splatoon, which may be a very good game, but I mean, what, there's not going to be a player base for Splatoon. God, there are no games coming out, like, through July. Mm -hmm. Even August, there's really nothing. Well, yeah, man. It's, uh... It's that drought... Yeah, every month of the year is a drought. <laughs> this year. It's like California up in the video game industry. I mean, hey, Life is Strange Episode 3 is coming out the same week I'm as the sure, first so. I'm sure that will be awesome. I'm still so confused by that game. Yeah. Yeah, like, as somebody who's never actually touched it, it's a lot of people have a lot of opinions about it. <laughs> yeah. They all seem to be the same, like... <laughs> the the reason for their opinions all come to different conclusions it seems yeah <laughs> which is a really weird thing I don't know should I go back and actually try to play Dragon Age Inquisition or should I just <sighs> should I just accept that that game isn't for me and move on you should accept the game isn't for you like I did and move on okay I was reading my Dragon Age 2 Legacy DLC review today that was, that was a poorly written piece of trash. Well, uh... I gave it a, I gave it a 625. It's gone now. So... Do you feel good about that? I guess I haven't mentioned this on this show yet. If you go to aeronotfound.org, which we don't really, uh... Don't really talk up too often on this show. No. But it's where... Um... Ryan and I do podcasts and stuff. And now it's uh, it's been redesigned, so now it's just a podcast network as opposed to a podcast network that ostensibly wrote game reviews sometimes. Yeah. So, um, check it. I gave... Did Clint relay the podcast idea I gave to him, to you? He re relayed both to me. Okay. And I I would like to do the one, but apparently that would be a monetary issue for him. So. Oh right, yeah. yeah. Oh, 
look at this. Did you ever see the first pitch perfect? No, I didn't see the first. I didn't see the first pitch perfect. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. This is the way it goes with all fucking middle of the road movies to people like a lot. Mm -hmm. Is I don't see it when it comes out. Then inevitably, because people were expecting it to be terrible, they overhype it. And then I watch it two years later and I'm like, what? <laughs> this is okay. Yeah, I I think it's an enjoyable movie. It so would be didn't. like it would be like if I watched Frozen right now. Pitch Perfect yeah. and Frozen occupy the same space in my mind in terms of like I feel as though the incessant drilling into my mind of those movies being really good has ruined their potential for me as somebody who thinks they're probably just going to be like all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I got out like ahead of the crowd with Frozen. I mm -hmm. saw that very shortly after it came out and I really liked it, but then like I feel like my voice was added to this like swarm of people who liked it a lot more than I did. Mm -hmm. And I think I think it's a really good movie and I think it's probably one of the best princess movies they've done in a very long time. Mm -hmm. But first of all, that's not saying much. Yeah. And second of all, it's like not it's not revolutionary in any means, but it's really good, I thought. I think it's the uh, I think it's three stars is the bug quest. Go to your box real quick for me. You probably sold everything that it would be, but I just want to see something. Okay, go to the uh, go to the uh, merchant. I wish. Is this the way it is for the whole series? Because I really, really wish I could just have it be a list of names. And not a row of inscrutable icons. That... <laughs> it, it is this way, the whole series. <sighs> Remember, you can always hit select. To, yeah. Yeah, but that's not like... Now the inscrutable icons are just next to each other. <laughs> okay. Um, Talk to the merchant. Keep going to the right. There we go. Oh, go back. Nope, sorry, go to the ammo. So, what we can do to do this uh -huh. is buy those poison shots, level one, buy a bow gun, and um, just do, like, low-level quests and kill the bugs with them. All right. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to end this episode. Uh, you should actually just... Buy it. Crossbow gun, right? Well, go go see what you can buy. Because I, I don't want you to waste anything crafting if we don't have to. What I can... No, but from the next guy. From the guy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay, sure. So, wait. I'm going to have to fight them the whole time with this? Yeah. Alright. That's why we're going to do a very low level quest. What? Why did it change my outfit? Because gunners have to have different armor. They made this even worse somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty impressive. Go to two. Do um, mushroom picking or... Why don't I just do this? Well, you are you confident enough in your abilities with the gun to kill three philosopher? Fair point. Fine. Well, Ryan. Yes. Join me tomorrow, as I hope the viewer will. Oh God, my fucking knee. <laughs> this is gonna be bad tomorrow. For another episode of JRPG Historia Future Perfect. Deactivate. Blue.